Hey, welcome back to my channel everybody. It's Krista here to do the love and creativity and romance reading for the sign of Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. This is for the month of February, 2019. For general issues, do check out your general reading for your sign for the month of February. Um, for additional messages in case this doesn't resonate, do check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as well, Taurus, for additional information. Sometimes I get a lot more um, pertinent information through my moon sign readings, for example, than my sun sign. So give it a go. So love, romance, creativity, Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Your general reading, by the way, that I just did was really, really nice. I really enjoyed seeing that for you. Lots of spiritual, personal development. So let's see what's in store for your love life, creativity, romance. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Messages, love messages for Taurus, sun, moon, rising. <laughs> a little bit of contemplation there. Let's get, whoa. Just going to shuffle a couple times more just until I get a good feel for the cards here. And then we'll get out your nine cards for you. Love messages. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. <laughs> I just flipped over. Wow, justice. Justice will be served this month. It's also a very karmic card. You could meet your match this month. All right, Taurus, there we have it. So three cards in the center represent you in the situation and your partner's position. Wow, can't go wrong starting out with a sun card. Lots of major arcana. Something pretty heavy is going on. Really nice to polish uh, the reading off. I usually start with the outcome cards just because these are so helpful in getting to know what's going on with the rest of the reading here. But also but just because they're so lovely for you this month. And your column is the Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. And then, of course, in your partner's column or in the column, if you're not partnered or looking or interested in love or relationships, this is about creativity. And, of course, this is really just saying that all is equal. All that is, all is well that ends well. Um, really nice equilibrium there. So ultimately, loving heart, fulfilled emotions, financial or value system equilibrium. Really, really nice to see there. Definitely both partners um, benefit from this relationship. Both people are getting a lot out of it. Um, a great deal. Speaking of justice, there could be someone who's really exhibiting or allowing for a lot of equilibrium or trying to right a wrong here, which is gorgeous. And then in your column, that's really going to speak to your heart. It's going to be so helpful with raising the relational vibrations here. Um, you do have the death card on your column which um, is opposed to their card, which is judgment. So it's the second chance. I think you might be putting something to rest here with regard to a situation in a love or romance uh, setting, and then your partner is given a second chance. You know, either you created that or they did, but it did come after a decision, and you do have two tens here. Something really had to come to a head before this, before you came to terms with this though. So the situation for the both of you, you're both really doing well. I think this is a positive situation for you both, but you're, you're, you have encountered something. Okay. The current state is really, there's nothing extraordinarily wrong going on. Um, but the partner's current position is to make a decision around something, right? They have to come to terms with something. Maybe they have to disclose something. I mean, anytime we're dealing with air and we do have a, a an Aquarius here, right? 
you know, and they featured that Aquarius energy featured in your general reading as an underlying energy. So 11th house energy could be very important for you this month. If you don't know too much about it, do check it out. Just look up 11th house energy or 11th house concepts and it'll explain it to you. It's just all under the auspices of, you know, fixed energy. Something is going to change quickly, but then it'll be fixed. It's permanent. Um, and it's like your partner needs to make up his or her mind about it. If this is a creative venture, you just simply have to say, I choose this. And then you just go in that direction. And it really doesn't have to be much more complicated than that uh, because the nature of your issue is overkill, okay? Something that's being over paid over attention to because everything is really quite delightful, remember? But something that needs to go by the wayside for the both of you that you both agree on, you know, we're not gonna do this anymore. We're not gonna talk like this anymore. We're not gonna whatever anymore because you're, you know, this relationship has developed so much or it's so pristine and well um, cultivated that you constantly, you and your partner consistently want it to be better than it was and you always raise the bar for yourself. So yeah, there's overkill here. Usually within a communication thought process belief or concept here, um, it could be something that you just had to go through together in order to come out on the other side. And as you see, these two tens together. So yeah, something coming to a completion, of course you have. Like I said, you have this death card here in opposition to the judgment call there. So I think as long as you're both on the same page together and you're listening carefully to one another and the whole premise of you getting through something, you know, something that was on overkill here is to proceed in this gorgeous, sunny direction within the partnership, in pure faith, in pure love, okay? Um, uh, emotional wealth type thing. I think that you'll be great. I think as long as you make that decision together, the second chance will be there. These are so similar. Uh, it's very transformative. Something here is going to switch. It's going to be like a new beginning. Very, very gorgeous reading for you, uh, for your love reading, Taurus in the month of February. Here you have uh, some Virgonian energy here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I have a Virgo sun, moon rising if you are another sign watching this. Um, but essentially this is really your challenge. You have to go within and they need to be, this is an Aquarius, again, um, like I said, so 11th house energy. This is very probably a character. Um, you're either dealing with an Aquarius or Aquarian energy. This could be a man or a woman. This is just uh, the king energetically. It's just male energy. Anyone can encompass this though, male or female. Um, but someone needs to be so brutally honest with you. Like it has to be, but it has to, there's a precision here. So someone really needs to get it all out. Okay. They need to just say, here is my truth. This is what I think. This is what I believe. This is what I know. And I won't let you down and you can rely on me and, and I will tell you and show you how. And I'm not backing up. So you take that or you leave it. And it's so strong. Like Aquarian energy is, <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm just going to say, brutally strong. They do not get enough credit for being so potent. Okay, a lot of people take it for granted that Aquarian energy because it's air, right? It's air, it's air energy. Well, air flows, it's quick to change, it's quick to move. Only if you're Gemini, Gemini is mutable. Remember, this is fixed energy. This is, I've made up my mind and I won't change it until you, you have to convince me, right? So someone is really able to express themselves here, their own personal sort of truth. And you're going to go within with it. You're going to have that, you know, I'm going to discard what doesn't work for, work for me and I'm going to use what works for me. Remember the hermit comes with a lot of keys and you have to rely on yourself and your own judgment. Trust your judgment, right? But it's also a very earthy card, earthy energy. And it's the harvester. You get to take what works for you and leave behind what doesn't. And, and look at this, like what we started out with. Gorgeous end of the month energy for you both. You both win, Taurus. You get everything you've ever wanted emotionally 
literally the chubby Buddha, <clears throat> so much emotional um, health and wellness that you have it, you can give it away now. <laughs> I didn't mean to sort of sing a song there, but you can share it. You're emotionally wealthy and this beautiful equilibrium. Value systems are on target. Let's get some qualifier cards here for you just to polish this up. Really nice. I just see you coming to terms with something, just making a decision between you and your partner or what your partner is saying, um, what your partner is offering. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about a creative venture if you're not partnered or seeking or within a relationship or love affair. Um, this is a really beautiful time for you to tell the truth to yourself about what you love. Taurus, you just gotta, you jot, you gotta go within, you gotta tell your truth to yourself, and you gotta come to terms with what needs to be harvested. What it's time to let go of something. Very likely, yeah, look at this. Very likely going to be a thought process or belief system here. Uh, but make it permanent. Do yourself a favor and make it permanent. Uh, between worlds, yep, it's just a step away from from the gray shadows into the bright new world you create for yourself and your partner. Absolutely gorgeous energy to have there for you both. It really is. I do think this this will be uh, a month for you, Taurus, uh, romantically speaking or creatively. Creativi creatively? No. Creatively <laughs> speaking, that is going to permanently switch your direction. Okay, it's very exciting. If for no other reason, it's very exciting because you get to go in the direction of your dreams. And again, if you haven't checked out your general reading for your sign for the month, give that a go because that could be helpful for you with regard to um, romance, partnerships, or creativity. But between worlds, yeah, you're just a decision away, buddies. Just a decision away. Really gorgeous card. Between worlds, knowing what lies ahead, knowing what you need to do to get it, making those plans, creating opportunities for yourself, and getting out of your own way. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you've got a really strong backer here. You've got a lot of strong backing energy. Um, if it's not a, an actual you know, person in your physical environment, someone has your back spiritually or physically. And there's a sort of truth coming out, a great deal of truth, you know. And it's incisive. This is going to switch things up. <laughs> there's going to be no questions at the end of that decision or conversation. So I'm just waiting for a little jumper here. I prefer a jumper over pulling a card. But I also want to keep my, wow, this goes on much, much longer than I anticipate. Sorry about that. clearly decide on what you want so that it comes to you now 100% 100% look right in the center just make a decision folks make a decision it's now or never we're gonna give up the ghost we're gonna walk away from what doesn't serve us anymore we know what the future holds when we do this it's a permanent fix and then we just get to permanently enjoy one another and isn't that the way that love is supposed to be, my dear Torians? I hope this was helpful, and I hope it wasn't too long. I do try to keep it 10 minutes for you. Uh, check out your general reading, your sun, moon, and rising signs if you're a cross-watcher. Uh, leave comments. I love hearing from you. And take care until the next video. Bye for now.